Yo, what is going on guys? It is midnight and today we are bringing you yet again another video. Now in today's video we are going to be talking about the new unit Demiurge, the samurai one. Um, and he is only coming out on his own. There's no other new characters that he comes out with. He's in a banner with Ainz. So two S units in a banner. Although Ainz will probably have lower rates than Demiurge because for some reason Ainz is going to have all the lowest rates in the game. But nonetheless, Demiurge is a very, very good unit. And on JP to this day, I would argue that he's probably the best power unit, maybe top two, um, arguably. Very, very close, right? So between him and a few, uh, two other power units on JP, like there's three top ones, but I would say Demiurge is probably the best one out of the bunch. So. If you want a good power unit, this is the guy to go for. Now, in the tier list, he sits S tier, second highest rank above Solution, basically where Ainz was previously. Ainz has now dropped behind Solution because you could say he's better than Solution, but now that we're going to start getting good units, the tier list is going to have more S units now which basically means the top half of S units will typically be the best units for a specific role. So the reason why Irons is behind Solution is because Solution's that good of a tank at the moment and, you know, the only really good five-star tank that we have. Um, she kind of sits above Irons, so like these four units at the top, they're all very good, as well as Mare and a few others. But, yeah, let's get straight into it. So Demiurge second best unit in the game on global at the minute arguably but in our opinion on the global tier list making we would put him second and i think a lot of people would anyway demiurge so i am going to actually compare him to momonga and let's get straight into it so now in regards of stats momonga does win right he's got the best stats in the game um, at the moment on global and his typing is better, right? So you're probably thinking, well, how is Demiage better? Like, what makes him so good? So in terms of stats, he's got very good stats. Um, obviously, nothing near as good as Irons, but Irons has got the best stats in the game at the moment. And they are both attacker units. One's magical, one's physical. We'll get back into that in a minute. Now, in terms of resistances, Demiage has probably got the best resistances in the game if not one of the best only having um, more damage taken to fire which is 25 percent now in terms of weaknesses irons takes more damage to flame and shining but samurai demiurge has got more damage to fire now one thing to take into consideration with this is most blue units, so technique units, won't have fire. They'll have uh, water, ice, and that's pretty much it, wind. They'll have those three elements. So against a blue unit, they're going to do less damage with skills. So yeah, that's one thing to take into consideration. Whereas irons with yellow units, some of them will do shining damage, for example, Shaltir Valkyrie. Um, so yeah, resistance is... Demiurge is better now in terms of first skill he's got a better first skill than Irons dealing an extra 10% damage and flame Irons doing 10% less damage and dark same cost MP so now now that stats and typings out of the way Demiurge is now beating him in two other things now the self buff Irons does 50% dark elemental strengthen he does 40% physical damage and 30% fire for the same cost. Again, this is a better self buff, considering this is going to affect him regardless if you're using a basic attack or one of his skills or even overdrive. He is always going to have this buff affecting him in one way or another. Irons will only have that if you use one of his skills or, no, not even overdrive, one of his two skills. So, unless you're using this to buff and then single target three attacks. This skill here is going to be better regardless, right? Now, AoE damage, 67% does more damage than Irons. Granted, it's only 1%, but the cost is also 1 MP lower. So in terms of skills, in case you haven't noticed, Demiurge has got better skills than Irons in every single department. And I wouldn't really argue anyone would question it. Like, it's pretty much facts at this point that these three skills are all better. 
resistances are also better. Stats are not that far behind it, except from the defense and HP stat. Attack is a little bit further behind, but if we scroll down here, 10% physical attack, 20% fire, 20% dark, 6% magical skill damage. Now, again, his passives are better. Now, this physical attack is going to affect him no matter what you're doing, whether it's a skill, basic attack, or whatever. This one is only going to help irons when it's a skill, and it does less percentage increase anyway. So again, passives are much better for Demiurge uh, than irons. Well, not much, but they're just better, right? And then overdrive, AOE damage, 71%. AOE damage 76%, flame 6% elemental, 45% self buff, fire 3 turns. Overdrive is better. Now, in case you haven't noticed, besides from stats and typing, which is very minimal, everything about Demiurge is better than Momonga. Literally everything, right? Uh, the passive is the thing that would probably be the closest since it's 20% dark, 20% flame, but passives as a whole. He's better, right? Now, yeah, the stats are the only thing that if this samurai had, Demi Samurai had a bit more, like, you know, more Momonga stats, then Momonga would be pretty much useless. Well, not useless, but like, you know, Demi just basically outclasses him in every department, and which he pretty much does anyway, um, which is why he's in the top of S tier. Now, going back to what I was mentioning earlier on in the video, that he's a physical attacker. Now, this wasn't into consideration. Like, we don't take this stuff into consideration at all. Like, we rank these units individually um, based on overall stats and skills and stuff like that. Um, however, with Demiurge, he's a physical attacker. So, at the moment, you could run him, Nazarick Aura, Solution, and Lakios, right? as your your buffer now Lakios is still in B tier will go up when raids come out because then the straight way the use for Lakios will be significantly more but you can run her with these two units at the top here and you've got a very very solid physical damaging team and solution as your tank for chaos field if you don't want to run a healer you just want to run straight out damage and uh yeah like very good to have this Demiurge. Finally got a good power unit. Now, Stonecutter Sebus wasn't bad, but he's this unit is, like, insane. Um, I will probably be summoning for him myself because the event comes out tomorrow. Well, at the time of this video, it'll be coming out in, like, a few hours. And I will summon for him. I won't get the guaranteed paid summon, but I'll do... I think I worked out I'll be able to do three paid summons, so 100, 200, 300. And then I'll do, like... Overall, I'll probably be doing like seven or eight multis, right? Seven or eight multis to get him. Um, the only reason why I'm summoning so much on him is because based on what we have now, the upcoming units that we're getting, for those of you that don't know, um, I'll get into that in a sec, but for the, the, the units coming up uh, next month, like they're all skips for me. Like I'm not going to summon for them. I know a lot of people are because a lot of people, you know, they like Konosuba, but to be fair, none of them are actually really good units. Aqua's okay, but yeah, I've got Mare, and unless it's an amazing healer, I don't really want to replace Mare. So, but yeah, long story short, Konosuba next month. That is what is coming, guys. Konosuba is next month. Um, in terms of Nazrik banner, which most people probably ask in, we have potential that it will be um, Green Kakaitis. Which is a skip. So do not summon on this unit. He is shocking. Um, so this unit here. He's got um, potentially being next Nazarick unit. As well as Albedo. Let me show you this one. This one here. Not a bad tank. But if you have solution in my opinion. I would stick with that. She's okay. Um, yeah she's not bad. But for me solution wins again. Um, and the other one that we might get, which is really 50-50 if you want to summon for this unit or not, is Shaltir Valkyrie. Now, yeah, all three of these units are potential Nazarick banner units that we'll get. You have got the Sebus one as well, but the Sebus I don't think will come for a little while. Uh, same as Kakaitis. In my opinion, I think it's going to be Albedo. And the only reason for that is because we've just had a Kakaitis banner. Um, and we've just had two Sebus banners, so I don't imagine that we'll get this Sebus here. 
This Sebus is really good for raids, by the way, but I don't imagine we'll get this Sebus. Not yet. I reckon two months' time we'll get him. Um, but yeah, so you got this guy here. Yeah, that's about it, really. I think Albedo is one we'll get. I don't think Shal uh, Shaltir Valkyrie will come out just yet. Although, it could be Shaltir Valk and Albedo because don't quote me on this, right? Do not quote me on this, but. If I come here, oh, he's not even on here. Cool, so maybe we might not be getting raids yet. I don't know. But if Karnasubo is coming out next month, we might start getting raids, which basically means we'll get the, the raid for the villain in that one. I don't know what his name is, like Beetle Geese or something like that. I don't know what his name is. Um, if we get raids, then releasing Shaltir Valk would be great right about now because she'll be really good on that raid, like insanely good on that raid because she's light and she does shining damage and he is purple and he takes more damage from shining. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you did get kind of like a, a quick update on the banners and stuff and, you know, you decide what you want. But yeah, I will be going all out for Demiurge because not many good units are coming out that I want soon. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Take care and peace out.